And the other state chapter of the Royal Progressive Congress, APC, have accused the state government of strings of corrupt schemes in siphoning Edo of her resources. Addressing journalists at the party secretariat in Benin City, the Edo state capital, chairman of the party, Emperor Jared Tenebe, revealed that at a party they have patiently listened to accusations of corruption that have been leveled against members of this government. As he further noted that they have waited for individuals and groups, especially the civil society and the press, to expose the worrisome situation, but to no avail. A situation, he says, has prompted the party to brief the press as he urges the people of the state to act quickly by asking the anti-corruption agencies to take notice of the corruption practice, he alleged, was being carried out by the state government. The latest plan by Governor Baseki to make the activities of this administration paperless is a criminal plan that has been designed by one Mr. Ugo, who is in charge of e-governance, who has concluded with the governor to destroy all documents related to fraudulent contract with the excuse that the government has gone paperless. Ugo has been instructed to delay the server containing sensitive documents when the PDP loses the election on September 21, 2024. We hereby warn Governor Baseki and the head of e-governance, Mr. Ugo, not to delete the approvals of contract on e-gov. Edo refinery, located at the Obaoha local government in Edo State, was drawn up by Governor Baseki as a state government project and spent over $1 billion on the project takeoff and through government. The project attracted foreign investment, but on completion, the refinery has been transferred to a private company with 100% ownership by Michael Osime, AIPCC Energy. ICNG Securities Limited Michael Osime had accompanied Governor Baseki to China in January 2018 to sign a memorandum of understanding MOU for a 5.5 APBD uh, modular refinery between the two state governments and Sinopec of China. As Sinopec importer, Osime EIPC Energy was never partner to the project, but financial advisor. Like the Radisi Hotel, we call on EFCC to already the true owners of a modular refinery.